Hello, class. Hello, welcome. Can you guys can you guys see me? Hear me? Hello. Yes, teacher. All right, Hi. good. How are you? Let me just very fine. Hi. Good, good. Good, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. How are Good evening. you? How is everybody? How are you guys? Pretty good? I'm fine. Good, teacher. Good. 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 good evening, teacher. Very good, good teacher. Evening. Great. I'm good. I'm glad to see everybody. How's it going? How was your day? Fine. Pretty good? You had a good day? Yes. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Um, let me say hi to everybody. So I have uh, Julio Cesar. How are you, Julio Cesar? Hello, hello. I'm, I'm all right today. Yeah? How are you doing? Good, good. Um, how is your son? Uh, he's getting better. Thank you for asking. Okay, good. Um, but, uh, but is he at home or, or is he at the hospital? No, he's, he's at home. Uh, we didn't have to take him to the doctor. Um, we were just checking on him on last night and uh, thank God he got better today. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Yes. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, so he has his medicine and he's getting better now? Right, that's okay. right. Good, good, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, Thanks. all right. And uh, welcome Fabiola, how are you? Hi teacher, I'm fine. Good, good, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, welcome Marvin. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Very good. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, good. Thanks. You're at, the, at work as well, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, good, good. Okay, welcome, Manuel, how are you? I'm fine, teacher, uh, very good. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, excellent. Um, how was your day today, Mar Manuel? Uh, well, in my work, uh, very occupied. Okay. Busy, very busy. Oh, very busy, to me, very busy. Uh, two, three meets with co workers and my boss. And then other activities. Okay. Okay, good, good. All right, excellent. Um, all right, sounds good, sounds good. Okay, uh, Warner, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, welcome to our class. <laughs> and thank you for, for joining yes, us. teacher. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, Francisco, how are you doing? Francisco, yes, I am. Yeah, I know. Hey, but teacher, no hey, everyone. Hello, how are you? Very well, thank you. Good, good, good. Okay, you had a good day at work today? Teacher? Did you have a good day at work today? Yeah, yeah, I relaxed today. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. And um, Irene and Susana? Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, excellent. Um, and um, you had a good day at work? Yes, I had an excellent day today. It was so busy, but it was excellent. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. 
Excellent. Okay. Magali, welcome. Hi, teacher. How are you? I also die. Tired. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's in the middle. We're in the middle of the week. That's why. Right? So only two more days. I want that one. <laughs> <laughs> we're, and remember, next week we're gonna it's mm -hmm. going to be off, right? So um we're we're gonna have vacation, so you can do it, right? So only two more days. Yeah, ya poquito falta. <laughs> okay, good. And uh Juan Francisco, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Uh, fine. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, excellent. Josue Alberto, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. You? Good. I'm pretty good. Thanks. All right, good. Um, let me see who I haven't said hi to. Uh, Noemi, how are you, Noemi? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. Good. I'm glad to. I'm glad to see you. Okay. Good. Alejandra, welcome. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good. I'm pretty good. Good. I'm. I'm happy to um, to say hi to you. Okay. Hey, me too. <laughs> and uh, welcome, Edgar. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> good evening. How are you? Fine, fine. Thanks. And you? Good, 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 good. I'm glad to glad, um, glad to be here. All right. And Andres Giovanni, welcome. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? Good, 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 good. I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mar Mariela, how are you, Mariela? Fine, teacher. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Um, excellent. And Elsie Janet? Elsie Janet, are you there? She might be having problems. Okay, um, let me say hi to Yvonne. Yvonne, are you there? Okay, maybe they're having a little bit of trouble there with their with their um, microphone. Okay, I'm actually going to um, take attendance. By the way, guys, thank you very much for joining. I know everybody did a big effort to be here on time. So I really, really thank you. Just give me a moment. <clears throat> my, my throat is getting very dry. Okay. So, <clears throat> so what we're gonna do right now, uh, like I said, I'm gonna take attendance. So let me see who is here. <clears throat> Okay, just give me a moment. Okay, let me see. Okay, so do I have Alejandra? Yes, I'm here. Wonderful. Andre Giovanni? I'm oh, here, teacher. Perfect. Edgar? Present, teacher. Wonderful. Elsie Janet? Present, teacher. Present. Perfect. Fabiola? Present, teacher. Uh, Francisco Javier? Present, teacher. Okay, good. Irena Susana? 
Present. Perfect, okay. Uh, Jennifer Magali. Present. Wonderful. Josué Alberto. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Perfect. Uh, Julio Cesar. Present teacher. Perfect. Carla Marta. Present. Wonderful. Uh, Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Good. Manuel de Jesus. Manuel de Jesus. No. Manuel de Jesus. No. Okay. Bye. Uh, Mariela. Present. Okay. Great. Um, uh, Marvin, Marvin Wilfredo. Present teacher. Okay, good. Werner? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Noemi? Present teacher. Perfect. Yvonne? Present. Perfect. All right. Hey, Cassie. Tenemos full house. Wow, very good. Okay. Excellent, guys. Okay, very good. Um, but antes de nada, eh, vamos, a hacer, uh, vamos a hacer una pausecita acá uh, antes de empezar la clase porque eh, quiero explicarles algo antes de, uh, para que todos eh, entendamos perfectamente um, qué es lo que va a pasar. Les mandé un mensajito ahí en, um, en el grupo de, de WhatsApp. Espero que todos lo hayan leído. Y um, lo que vamos a hacer, eh, bueno, yo no sé si ya, ya recibieron todos el correo y todo. No sé si ya revisaron. No, yes, no, no todavía no. No, te he a uno. Yes, teacher. Ver, si yes, no les teacher. ha llegado, les va a llegar. Entonces, el correo, um, eh, bueno, les, les pide um, que llene una encuesta, como les decía, esa encuesta no se va a llenar hasta, eh, hasta el último día de clase, que es el viernes, ¿verdad? Entonces... Sorry, teacher. Oh, it's okay, Marvin, no, it's okay. Um, bueno, o sea, eh, no, no se preocupe, a veces pasa, ¿verdad? Pero ya, pues ahora ya saben, ¿verdad? Eh, siempre, um, siempre que reciban ese, ese, ese mensajito, um, esperen ahí para llenarlo en clase y pues... Todo lo hacemos juntos. La razón es porque, bueno, uno, que Insapor nos pide que así lo hagamos. Y dos, para que podamos ayudarles mientras tanto para si tienen alguna duda y todo, eh, saber exactamente cómo llenarlo. Y para ese efecto les voy a compartir algo para que ustedes puedan ver. Vamos a eh, hacer esto bien rapidito, solo para que ustedes puedan ver um, de qué se trata. Para algunos que no lo han visto aún. ¿Verdad? Si no han visto eh, cómo es esta, eh, cómo, cómo es, o qué, de qué estoy hablando, es esto. Les va a llegar a uh, un correo similar a esto, ¿verdad? No sé si lo pueden ver, ¿verdad? ¿Todos lo pueden ver? ¿Sí? ¿No? Sí. Yes, yes, sí, Perfecto. Entonces, sí. en el correo um, ustedes van a ver alguna información que van a necesitar para completarlo, ¿verdad? Entonces, aquí para empezar, se los voy a explicar antes de cualquier cosa de que um, eh, vamos a, a, bueno, van a necesitar esta información para poder llenar la encuesta. Así que es importante que lo puedan tener. También eh, les puede llegar un, un WhatsApp que va a verse algo así. ¿Verdad? Ok, entonces se va a ver algo así y que te contiene prácticamente la misma información que contiene esto. Ok, solamente que para algunos es más fácil hacerlo con, con WhatsApp, otros para, con email, entonces por eso es que lo hacemos de la otra forma. Entonces, algunos de los detalles que van a necesitar es aquí el orden de inicio de la clase. Eh, este es ex, el, usted cuando allí en la encuesta va a hacerlo, va a simplemente copiar y pegar. ¿Ok? Eso de acá, copiar y pegar. Simple. ¿Y por qué lo vamos a hacer de esa forma? Porque uh, si ustedes ven, contiene muchos números y guiones secas. Y entonces, para no confundirnos, para que no se vaya eh, con, la 
con un número diferente, simplemente vamos a copiar y pegar. Ok, también eso tiene que ir con su nombre completo, así como aparece eh, según los registros de Insafor, aunque, por ejemplo, en este caso, verdad, esta persona, por decir, está casada, imaginémonos que, eh, pues, um, dice, no, pero es que a mí no me gusta, este, el, no me gusta usar mi nombre de casada, o mire, ya, yo, eh, eh, ya me divorcié, etcétera, etcétera, o mire, a mí no, Uh, yo no, a mí no me gusta usar ese nombre, etcétera, etcétera. Entonces, eh, pero si en Insafor usted se ha registrado así, así exactamente tiene que poner su nombre, ¿ok? Entonces, uh, asegúrese de ponerlo exactamente como está acá, ¿verdad? Eh, también él le va a pedir el nombre de su empresa y el nombre de su empresa tiene que ir exactamente como está acá. Entonces, esto es la razón social de su empresa. Por lo tanto, a uh, aunque no sea el nombre comercial, no es el nombre que, con la que usted lo conoce nuevamente, pero eso tiene que ir exactamente de esa forma, ¿ok? Y eh, tiene, tiene que también ir con el nombre del curso, que es um, ese que está acá. No le van a poner, por ejemplo, eh, Beginners, um, Módulo 4, no le van a poner principiante 4, no, tiene que ver exactamente cómo sacar. Entonces, yo les sugiero copiar y pegar. ¿Ok? También aquí está el inicio del curso y, y, y cuando se finaliza el curso, ¿verdad? También, entonces, eso, eso lo van a llenar. ¿Ok? Ahora, como les vuelvo a decir, por favor, eh, aquí está la, 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 el. En enlace, ustedes van a usar ese enlace ya el viernes, ¿ok? Entonces, solo para rapidito ver cómo va a ser la encuesta, les voy a proyectar en un momento. Un momento mientras... Perdón, chicos, se me ha perdido esto. Um, ok, solo denme un momento. Ah, ya, ya lo, ya lo encontré. Ok, um, ok, entonces se va a ver es algo así. Ok, cuando ustedes entren aquí, como les vuelvo a decir, uh, so van a ir copiando y pegando. Aquí va a ser exactamente uh, de copiar y pegar el número de inicio. Como ustedes pueden ver, um, eh, cuando, cuando yo les enseñé el correo, ¿verdad? Ahí estaba el montón de números con guiones y pleca. Solamente va a ir eh, copiar y pegar acá. Aquí nuevamente va a pegar su nombre eh, completo, así como le aparece en Insafor. Aquí va a poner el correo electrónico que ustedes utilizaron para inscribirse a Insafor. No van a, a poner otro correo electrónico. Tiene que ser ese específico. ¿Ok? Entonces, no, si usar el personal, usa el personal. No me van a usar el de la empresa. Y si usaron la empresa, van, pongan ese, ¿verdad? Número del celular, igual tiene que ir con el que ustedes están inscritos a Insafor. Usted pone ahí eh, si, es, um, si es de sexo femenino o masculino. Aquí es donde usted reside, no donde usted, no es um, donde usted, de donde usted es originariamente, no es donde uh, usted estudia, no. Eh, es donde usted reside. Si usted reside en ese momento en San Salvador, pone San Salvador. Si reside en um, Santa Tecla, pone San Santa Tecla. Si reside en eh, la palma, ponga la palma, etcétera, etcétera. ¿Dónde usted reside? Um, bueno, de hecho es departamento, ¿verdad? Así que, bueno, no, no es la ciudad, no es el ciudad, sino que el, el departamento. El municipio, igual, es lo mismo lo que le estaba explicando. Y aquí, la empresa donde trabaja, estamos hablando, estamos hablando de, um, eh, ¿cómo se llama? De... El nombre, la razón social, ¿verdad? Que ya les explicaba, no es el nombre comercial, ¿verdad? No es el nombre comercial de la empresa, sino que el nombre 
como está justo en el correo que se les va a mandar. También eh, aquí va, bueno, el nombre del proveedor, que soy yo, ¿verdad? El nombre del curso, tal va, cabal como está en el correo, ¿verdad? Y aquí pues llena la encuesta acerca de las opiniones. Aquí pone la fecha, aquí va a, no va a poner la fecha, sino que la va a, a escoger de aquí, ¿verdad? En el calendario, tanto fecha de inicio como fecha de finalización. Y um, si está haciendo fecha o no. Uh, también si hay otro eh, curso de su interés que le gustaría tomar de INSAPOR, eh, ya sea que uno que usted ya sepa que existe o uno que le gustaría tomar en un futuro que tal vez no existe y algún comentario. Cuando usted termine de hacer eso, lo envía y va a tomar una captura de imagen. ¿Okay? Así es que eso es la encuesta. Como les digo, eso lo vamos a llenar el día eh, el, el día viernes, pero y quería mostrarle más o menos ahí cómo era el asunto para que ustedes tuvieran una idea y lo vamos a llenar en clase. ¿Ok? Eh, ¿Alguna preguntita que tengan sobre eso? ¿No? Ok. Vale, eh, una cosa más que me quería mencionarles es um, de que como hay que tomar captura de imagen, mi pregunta es, ¿todos saben utilizar eh, su teléfono o su computadora para tomar una captura de imagen? Sí. ¿Hay alguien aquí um, que no sepa utilizarlo? Y, y no, no se preocupen, no, no hay problema si no lo saben hacer, ¿verdad? Es simplemente me dicen y les podemos ayudar. Si quieren, incluso si um, prefieren mandarme un mensajito privado y digan, miren, no estoy segura cómo mandar captura de imagen. Ahora, la captura de imagen eh, que van a, o sea, es muy importante que sepan hacerlo porque eh, eso va a ser como el comprobante que usted ha hecho de encuesta, ¿verdad? Así es que si hay alguien que no sepa usarlo, entonces eh, me, me avisa para que yo les pueda ayudar a hacer eso. Lo pueden mandar por chat privado o como sea. ¿Ok? Bueno. Uh, teacher, una pregunta. La, la captura debe de ser nada más como un comprobante que la hice. Quiere decir que no tiene que ser una captura con desplazamiento. Eh, eh, va a ser una captura solamente de cuando, cuando usted mande la, la, la encuesta, le va a decir gracias. Bueno, de hecho, creo que eh, Marvin mandó una captura, ¿verdad? De lo, cómo lo había hecho. Exactamente así es como se tendría que hacer. Ah, okay. Simplemente mandar eh, la captura de que se ha hecho. Que de se, que se ha enviado. Que se ha enviado, correcto. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Solo denme un momento. Aquí se lo, voy a, se lo voy a proyectar. Pero como nuevamente, esto es solo, lo vamos a hacer en clase el, el viernes, así que solo es para que ustedes tengan una idea, ¿verdad? Uh, tiene que ser ir, ir así. ¿Ok? No queremos, respuesta, no queremos una captura de, de sus respuestas, sino que de que usted ha enviado. ¿Ok? Aquí dice gracias, la respuesta se ha enviado, pero aparece el nombre de la persona. ¿Ok? Exacto. Entonces, ¿alguna preguntita? No. No? Okay, perfecto. Okay, guys. Well, uh, what we're going to do right now, we're going to start with our class. Um, All right, let's um, start with... We're going to begin sharing. Can everybody see this? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. So, um, so this is the beginner, module four, unit four, accounting. It's day number 18, facilitator Jessica Guerrero, date Wednesday, March 24th, 2021. Okay. All right, so let's begin, first of all, um, okay, so let's begin here with uh, a review, just a review 
of you and so and such, okay? Um, I want you to uh, do this with me. Um, I want, are you, I'm gonna give you um, like a four minutes for you to do these exercises by yourself. You're just gonna choose between so and such, okay? And then you are going to share with the class your answers to see if you really did understand it. Okay, so go ahead. How are you guys doing? Any questions? Any problems? What is the last word on the last sentence? You should be what? Because when I when I, I captured the uh, the screen, you was on. Oh, your okay. Screen was in the way. Okay, uh, it shouldn't be blank rude. There's a blank here, and it says rude. Ah, rude. Okay, thank you. Rude.
All right. You guys ready? Yes. Anybody need more time? No, it's okay. It's okay. So everybody agrees that it's the in enough time or do you need more time? It's okay for me. It's okay. All right, perfect. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and check. Okay, um, let me, I'm going to write the answer. All right, so my friends are? So friendly. Yeah, so friendly. Good, so friendly. My friends are hmm. so friendly. They are? Such so kind people. Such Good. So Such kind people. people. Very good. That was? So funny. So funny. So funny. It was? Such a lovely day. day. Such a lovely day. Mm -hmm. I've never seen? Such, such a thing. Such, such a thing. Mm -hmm. Good. Paul has so beautiful eyes. Beautiful. Such such beautiful such. eyes. Such beautiful eyes. Okay. Uh, next, he is he so, so, handsome. so handsome. So handsome. So handsome. Good. Where did you get? Such grapes. Such grapes. Very good. So do you see what I what I mean? I'm gonna stop there for a moment. Yesterday you were asking me if it's necessary to have an adjective or if it's necessary to have the word a ah after such. And the answer is no. If you can see grapes, the word after is grapes. It's it's not a, there's no a because it's plural and there is no adjective. The adjective is optional, okay? So here we just have to say grapes, such grapes. Got it? Yeah? Yes. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah. Perfect. Samantha is? So beautiful. So beautiful, so beautiful. good. Good. Uh, she is such, such a nice, nice woman. woman. Nice woman. Yes, such a nice woman. Mm -hmm. Paris is so big. So, so beautiful. So big. So big. So big. <laughs> yes, I'm beautiful. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sorry, I see my phone. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you I think you're thinking you want to go to Paris. That's it's in your yes, back. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> subliminal. Yeah. Okay. It's right. such a large large city. Good. It is yeah. a large mm -hmm. city. Excellent. Okay. Um it was such a bad day. Such a bad day. Such a bad day. It was. So, so windy. 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 There. These uh, dogs are so lovely. Oh, lo so these lovely. Are, these so dogs lovely. are so lovely. Okay. Lovely is an adverb. So that's why we use so. They are. Such, such, such cute dogs. dogs. Such cute, cute dogs. dogs. Again, no ah. I hear there's no ah because dogs is plural. Okay. Don't say such, such words. Such, such words. Word. Again, no ah because it's plural and no adjective. Okay. And uh, you shouldn't be 
So rude. So rude. So rude. So rude. All right. How'd you do? Come this way. Very good. Very good. I failed. You failed? I failed three. Oh, okay. No, but that's not that much. Three is not. Three is. Tres no es ningún. <laughs> Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, no, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18. 18. 18. Bye. Wait. Okay, so there are 18 of them. And you, if you got three, you got three wrong, that's 15. 15 out of 18 is 8.33. So that's not bad at all. 8.3 no está nada mal. Okay? So it's very good. Very, very good. Okay? All right. Any other questions? Something? Any any problems that you had? Something you were not sure about? Cuénteme. No? Okay, so this is okay then, right? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, great. Let's continue then to the next part. The next part is... Okay, all right. So guys, uh, first thing what we're gonna do is... Okay, so... Here we have, uh, okay, so here we have our conversation that we're gonna, gonna look here at. We have two people, Hugo and Milton. So I'm gonna need two volunteers to help me read about Hugo and Milton. Uh, so- Hi, can... Hugo. Huh? Hi, Milton teacher. ¿Quién dijo a Milton? ¿Quién dijo a Hugo? ¿Me? ¿Quién dijo a los veo? Marvin. ¿Quién dijo a mí? Marvin. Ok. All right, Marvin. Ok, you want, Marvin, you want to be Hugo or Milton? Hugo. 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 Ok, all right. So, Marvin, you're Hugo. Who's going to be Milton? ¿Quién dijo a Milton? Yo, Andrés. Andrés. Ok, Andrés, you can be Milton. Ok, so go ahead. Let's start reading. Dale. Ya, yeah, teacher. Yeah, uh -huh, start. Okay. The sales were not so good this month. They therefore increasing our sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure. First, analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandat mandatory on each sale. That's a good idea. Also, I feel interested in buying raw materials. So we have, so we save more money. However, I prefer getting a bound a bound low for that, but I know that we can pay in with the incomes we get. All right, bravo. Oh, no, 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 sorry, but there's one more. Sorry, adelante, continue. Uh, I can see it, teacher. You can't see it? No, no. Puede? Okay, what about now? Can you see it now? Okay. I'm, I'm concerned about asking for money, but let's try it out. All right, bravo. Very good, guys. Thank you, Andres and Marvin. Excellent. Okay. All right. So questions about the vocabulary or pronunciation? Sure. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Therefore. Therefore. 
This word, therefore. It, therefore, is like a result. Like, uh, therefore, like, um, as a result. Okay. As a consequence. We can use those words, therefore. In Spanish, do you know how to say therefore in Spanish? Anybody know what is uh, therefore in Spanish? Por lo tanto. Ajá, por lo tanto, o por consiguiente. Okay, so it's like, it's like a result. Okay, so, por lo tanto. Yeah, okay, any other vocabulary? No? Nothing? And the uh, second time mandatory. Mandatory. Just let me say. The word mandatory means obligation. Okay, An obligation. Anything else? Donde dice buying raw raw materials. This one, buying raw materials. Uh -huh. uh, no. What word do you not understand? Buying raw or materials? Or raw. Raw. Everything. No, uh, just raw. Oh, raw. Okay. All right. Um, okay. I'm going to give you two explanations. The first one is the word raw, only the word raw means not cooked. Not cooked. So, uh, for example, vegetables. You can eat vegetables raw or cooked, like carrots. You know, you know carrots. Do you know carrots? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So carrots and zanahorias, right? So you can eat the carrots. You can eat them raw, like uh, without cooking or cooked, you can eat both ways. So raw is, means it's the opposite of cooked. Okay. So what is raw in Spanish? Crudo. Ah, crudo, exactly. Crudo. Crudo. Okay, good. But in this context, it's not crudo because it's together with materials. So it's raw materials. Raw materials means the the materials that you need for something um in the in the original form of the material materia prima la materia prima exactly exactly all right got it yes yes got it, teacher. good anything else And the last one, the concern. Sorry, what, what, which word? I don't know how to pronunciate, but I, it's in the chat, the word. Concerned the concerned. concerned. Oh, I'm concerned about asking for money. Uh, it means uh, I'm worried. Concerned means worried. Okay. Worried. Just that teacher. Thanks. All right, I wrote in the chat, worried. Concerned means worried. Okay, so I'm concerned about asking for money. I'm worried about it. Estoy preocupado. Anything else? However. However, 
Um, it? However, it's, it's, it's similar to but. But, you know, when you say, for example, um, I like hamburgers, but I don't like french fries. Right, so however is similar to but. It's, it's um, a more formal but. Anything else? Venga, mi amor. Venga, mi amorcito. Chucho, venga. Mire, usted por qué anda jugando tierra, niño. Ay, perdón. It's okay. It's okay. No worries. I was trying to I was trying to find where you were. It's a good bet. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, so anything Sorry. else? No worries, no worries, Jen. It's okay. It, ha it, it happens to everybody, no worries. Okay, um, any other words that you don't understand? No? Okay, so what we're going to do is the following. Um, you will notice that, okay, I have here The questions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get you to work in pairs, and you're going to be one. You're going to be uh, you're you're going to be practicing this conversation, and two. I want you to answer these questions. Okay, these are on page 41. Okay, in the book. All right. So I'm going to get you guys to work everybody in uh, pairs. Okay. Um, all right. So, do we understand what we're going to be doing? Yes, remember, practice a conversation with your partner and answer the question, okay? So let's open up. Any problems? I don't know. I accept, but I'm here now. Um, no lo he asignado a un grupo. No. Acaba de entrar. No, no. Si, no, si ahorita está asignado. Está asignado al, al nivel. I don't know what happened. Okay. Um, Okay, vamos a hacer una cosa, no, voy a asignar a otro, vamos a ver qué pasa. Okay.
Me, le, me lo manda a mi WhatsApp. ¿Cómo aparece? Híjole. Mi número es 7602. ¿En qué número termina? 3991. ¿Qué pasó? Hello, teacher. Hello. I don't have. I don't have the conversation. You don't have the conversation. Can you help me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you help me, please? Uh, you don't. You don't have the book. No, just in me in my computer. Oh, and you don't have your computer with you right now. Uh, no, because the computer, uh, the the batteries is very low. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Um, okay. I can show you. Um, I'm going to show you again the, the, the conversation and maybe you can take a screenshot. Yeah, yeah, of course. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I got it. Okay. All right. Mm. Okay. Okay, so, so go ahead. Start thank you. Talking. Yeah, no problem. Fabiola. Hola. Y si gusta puedo compartir la 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 imagen. Si gusta, pero no, yo lo tengo impreso. Ah, okay, okay. Ajá. Okay. Okay. Yes. The sales were not so good this month. Therefore. No, no dice que quiere pedir un préstamo. Prefiero Gary, Gary, ¿qué? Ay, prefiero Gary. Como tener algo así. Getting es como obtener. Uh -huh. Y Pero, lo que le dice es que prefiere... Ah, bueno, sí, es un préstamo. Yes, para... Pero es que no lo entiendo muy bien, pero me quiero ver. Forever I prefer getting a bank loan for that. Ah, para comprar los materiales. Sí, ¿Qué? dice que. Um, estamos no. tratando de, de, no, de, de superar. I know that we can buy and with the income we get. Pero no sé si podemos pagar. Miss, uh, I have a question. What is the difference between targets and objective? Um, sorry, what is the question again? Uh, the difference uh, between uh, targets and objective. Is difference or similar? The difference between uh, targets. What does targets mean? Is oh, objetivo meta? A target, uh huh. A target is un blanco. El blanco. Pero en este caso, en la conversación lo utilizan como planeta. In the conversation. Target. Target es la meta. Es, es la meta que perseguís. Pero ¿dónde está Target? No me encuentro. Increasing our sales is our target this month. Oh, yes, yes, I see. Okay. Okay, increasing our sales. Yeah. So our target is like the, yeah, the goal. It's like the goal. You understand goal? Sí, sí, como el objetivo. Ajá, uh -huh, exactamente. Son sinónimos entonces. Uh -huh. Yeah, we can say that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thanks, questions? teacher. You're welcome. Any other questions? No questions? No, teacher. No. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys in a, in a moment in the main room. Okay. 
The second one, what are some steps they want to follow? Okay. Uh, um, I think it's you. In the second part of you. Uh, yeah. Um, First, analyzing, analyzing and keeping and the uh, income and outcome. Okay. Next question. What is what is one of them worry about? Asking for money. Ok. Ahora pregúntenme usted y yo respondo. Okay. What is your attitude this month? Increasing ourselves is our target. Increasing ourselves is our target this month. Number two, uh, what are some steps they want to follow? Analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on each cell. Okay. Next. And number three. What is one of them worried about? Uh, it's about asking for money, but they try it out. Mm, very good. Okay. Go, le voy a preguntar otra vez. First, number one, what is their objective this month? Uh, they want uh, impressing yourself. Okay, next. What are some things for? Uh, I'll go now, okay. Bro, okay. questions? Oh, hi, teacher. And uh, not for the moment, teacher. Okay. Only repass some yeah, words. Review. Hmm. And Re review some words. Yeah, uh, review some words. Uh, the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, target. 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 And the the other people is uh, row, row, or row, row, row. Row. Okay. Uh, the new Edgar. I am Milton, and you, Hugo. Okay. Uh, actually, guys, um, um, we're gonna go be going back to the main room, so I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, right. teacher.
Okay, welcome back, guys. All right, so um, I hope everybody had opportunities of uh, reading the conversation, changing roles, right? One of you is Hugo, the other one is Milton. Then you change roles. If you are Milton, you're now going to be Hugo, and if you were Hugo, you're going to be Milton. And we're going to be checking the answers to these questions. Okay, so. All right, so first question, what is what is their objective this month? What is their objective this month? They want to increase in the sales. Increase in the sales. Increase in the sales. Good. The answer is increasing the sales. Yes. Teacher, what is the pronunciation? Sales. Venta. Sales. 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 Okay. Our sales. Okay, good. That's the answer. Um, so I am going to write. Um, the um, their objective. This month is increasing the sales. Okay. And there's a little there's a there's a, a type a typo in there. I'm just going to fix it so you guys don't come confused. Okay, it's not it, it's it's um it's not there like as in a place. But it's there as an as an possessor. Okay, so let me write that. So para que no se me confundan. Okay, there we go. So what is their objective this month? Their objective this month is increasing the sales. Next question. Uh, what are some steps that that they want to follow? What are some um, of the steps that they want to follow? Analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes. Outcomes. Good. Analyzing and keeping track of the incomes and outcomes. Okay. Um, what else? Buying raw materials. Good. Buying raw materials. Uh -huh. And getting a bank loan. Good. Getting a bank loan. Okay. Very good. So the answer, the full answer is. What are some steps that they want to follow? <laughs> Analyzing <laughs> and keeping track of incomes. Yes. 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 In this case, uh, suppose I keep keeping keeping track or suppose I keep track no keeping track we are going to talk about that in a moment and getting and getting a bank loan some steps they want to follow are there you go that's the full answer okay can you see that oh creo que tal vez será mejor si lo pongo as as 
So some steps, uh, some steps they want to follow are analyzing and keeping track of the incomes and outcomes, buying raw materials, and getting a bank loan. Okay. Any questions so far? No. Okay. All right. And finally, what is one of them worried about? What's the answer? They worry about money. Asking for money, getting a bank loan. Yeah. Yeah. Asking for money for the bank loan, right? So what is one of them worried about? The, end, the full answer would be he is worried about asking, about asking the bank for money. There you go. That's the answer. Okay. Any questions so far? It's okay. Do we understand the answers? It's okay. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Well, there you go. Those are the answers. The full answers. Okay. So that is now. Um, that is this conversation. Now, somebody already pointed out that you probably noticed that there are some words that are in that always finish in ing. For example, we have increasing, analyzing, keeping, buying, getting and asking and the somebody already asked isn't it possible for me to just simply say um analyze keep buy get ask for money and the answer is no we can't do that because what these things are called they're actually called i'm going to stop sharing for a moment Okay. Um, okay, so this is what we call the gerunds, okay? These are gerunds. Have you guys ever heard of gerunds before? Yes. Yeah. How do you say gerunds in Spanish? Gerundio. Gerundio. Exactly. It's gerundio. That's right. Now, in Spanish, we call them gerundios. However, you have to be very careful. And the reason you have to be careful is because in Spanish, un gerundio es siempre un verbo. Okay, in, in, in Espanol siempre el gerundio es un verbo. But in English, the gerund is not a verb. It's an action. It's a noun. Es un sustantivo. Okay, so um, it's an activity. Right? To, to make it easier for you, it's an activity. Okay, so work. Now, so. Um, what we're going to learn right now is how to make the gerund form of the verbs. So let's start with the word work. How do you make the word the the gerund of work? Do you know? How do you make the gerund of work? Huh? Working. 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 Good. Working. You know what, guys? Just give me a second. I'm actually going to stop sharing for a moment. Me acabo de, acabo de darme cuenta que ya son pasadas las nueve y 
Necesito pasar ahí la, la asistencia. Así que de nuevo un momentito. Ok. No se nos pasa, se nos puede correr mucho el tiempo si lo hago después. Ok. So, Alejandra. Sí. Wonderful. Eh, Andrés. Great. Giovanni. Sorry. Andrés Giovanni, that's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Edgar. Present teacher. Perfect. Elsie, Janet. Present teacher. Great. Fabiola. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Francisco Javier. Present. Great. Irene Azucena. Present. Great. Thank you. Uh, Magali. Present. Great. Uh, Josué Alberto. Present. Good. Uh, Juan Francisco. Present. Good. Uh, Julio Cesar. Right here, teacher. Great. Um, Carla, Carla Cano. Present. Great. Eh, Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Great. Manuel de Jesús. Present. Great. Excellent. Uh, Maria de Los Angeles. Present. Excellent. Marvin. I'm still here, teacher. Okay, good. Werner. Present teacher. Great. Noemi. Present. Great. Yvonne. Present. All right. Okay, guys. Very good. Um, okay, bravo, guys. Esta creo que es la primera vez que no hemos tenido ningún ausente. Bravo. Very good, guys. Very good. Les agradecemos bastante su asistencia. Eso eh, pues um, muestra ahí el compromiso que tienen y eh, pues o sea, de, de, y la, o sea el, el compromiso que ustedes saben que ha adquirido y les agradecemos también um, porque así de esa forma pues van a poder um, les podemos apoyar para poder continuar verdad esa es la idea ok great let's continue guys um, so I'm going to go back to the powerpoint let me share again okay. everybody can see this yes teacher perfect Okay. Okay, guys. So, how do we create the um, how do we create the the um, the gerund of the verbs? Do you know? How do you create them? You add ing, correct. What would be work is working. Work, working. Working. Very good. Okay. Eat is eating. 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 Good. Sleep. Sleeping. Sleeping. Good. Play. Playing. 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 Very good. Watch. Watching. 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 Right. Watching. Stay. Staying. Staying. Mm -hmm. Read. Reading. 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 Cook. Cooking. 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 All right. Okay, so pretty easy, right? No problem, right? Yes. Any questions about how to create the gerund? No. There are some exceptions, teacher, or 
all exceptions. Of the zero is I and U are finished. Yes, there are. And I'm going to show it to you in a moment. Um, but it's pretty simple, right? Any que any questions about these uh, about the creation of the gerunds for these verbs? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, and uh, do you have any rules about uh, the the to create uh, the gerunds? Uh, for example, in the past, uh, with uh, and in in why you have to change and, and another question like that i don't know uh, i i i am seeing that getting uh tiene que doblar la t y luego se agrega el ing mm -hmm. yeah i'm gonna show you that in a moment denme un momentito solo quiero saber si estas están bien si si hay alguna pregunta sobre estas en particular que les estoy enseñando Anything else? Any questions? Este, si, si se le agrega el ING. Mm -hmm. ¿Y cuál es eh, el significado? Quedarse, quedándose. Uh, uh -huh. Remember that, ok. ¿Se acuerdan lo que les hablamos el día de ayer? De que no podemos completamente a traducir todo porque son dos idiomas diferentes y en uno significa una cosa y en el otro significa otra cosa y no siempre es igual entonces um, sí la idea es más o menos la, esa es la idea pero no es exactamente de esa forma ya vamos a ver en un momento cómo usamos el gerund en inglés que es, es diferente que los como lo usamos en español. Ok, so you will see that in a moment. Ok, now you are asking, me están preguntando ahí si hay reglas, si hay otras reglas, excepciones, etcétera, etcétera. Y la respuesta es sí. Y las reglas son las siguientes. Ok, all right, so here we have new set of verbs. These are new verbs. Write, dance, take, use, capture, move, come, move, try. What do you notice about these verbs? All, uh, todas terminan con e. They all finish in an E, exactly. They all finish in an E. Exactly, thank you. You're right, all of them finish in E. Write, dance, notice, E, 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 E. E, 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 right? All of them finish in E. The rule is the following. If the verb finishes in E, what we do is we eliminate the E. Okay? And eliminate the E. Okay? That's the first thing we're going to do. We have to eliminate the E. Okay? And after we eliminate the E, what do we do? Add an I and right. Exactly. Right. We're going to add I. Right. Okay. So, dance. It, it would be dancing. Take. Taking. 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 Good. Use becomes. Using. Using. Capture becomes capturing. Capturing. It come is coming. Coming. Move. Moving. 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 Drive is driving. 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 Good. There you go. So that's one of the rules. Any questions about that? It's okay? Yes, teacher. The rule is fine, no problem? No, teacher. Okay. All right. Okay, so 
that's one of the rules. The other rule that we have is the following. Let me erase this. Okay. The other rule we have is the following. These are another set of verbs. Stop, run, cut, plan, drop, slip, flip, pin. Do you notice anything? What do these verbs have in common? Um, they, they, all the verbs finish they, in consonant. Okay, all of the verbs finish in consonant and Vowels and are specific. Good. Vowel, and T and in one vowel and consonant. A vowel, a consonant, you can must vowel. vowel and consonant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Vowel, consonant, you can must. One syllable. Huh? One syllable. One syllable, very good. Okay. Bendo, uh, todos, todos tienen una sílaba. Stop, run, cut, plan, drop, slip, flip, pin. Okay. And all of them finish in one vowel and one uh, consonant. The vowel yeah. is O, the vowel is U, the vowel is U, U the vowel is A, A the vowel is O, o the vowel is I. 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 The vowel is I, I, and the vowel is I. I. And we finish in one consonant. P, N, P, T, N, P, P, N. P, N. Okay? okay. Ahora, eh, quiero recordarles que vimos esto, una, una regla similar la vez pasada. ¿Se acuerdan? Yo les hablaba que era como, a mí me gusta decirle que esa es la regla del 1-1-1. One syllable, one vowel, one consonant. So when this happens, what we do is exactly the same idea here. We double the consonant. Okay? So first thing, we're going to double the consonant. Um, okay, so with the P, we're going to double the P. Okay. And we're going to double the N. T, double the T. Okay. With the N, we double the N. With the, the P, we double the P. Same thing here, we double the P. And here we're doubling the P. Mm -hmm. And over here we're doubling the N. Okay, so far so good? It's clear? Yeah. And then after that, we're going to add the ing. So we end up with stopping and what about this one? Running. Running. Uh, running. running. And this one is? Coding. Coding. Good. And this one is? Planning. Planning. And this one is? Dropping. 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 Slipping. 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 This one is? Slipping. 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 And this one is? Painting. 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 All right, there you go.
How do you feel? Is it okay? Do you understand it? You're confused? No. It's okay? Yes. Okay, good. So that is that is how we form the gerund. Those are the three rules. No, the most most of them you just add ing. When they finish in e, we eliminate the e and put ing. And when we have one syllable and it finishes in one vowel and one consonant, we double the consonant. And put ing. Okay. Any questions so far? No questions so far? No? Nope. Okay. All right. So we're going to stop sharing. And what we're going to do is the following. Uh, we're going to play a little game, very quick game. And the game is going to consist of the following. I'm going to, I'm going to send through the chat to, um, I'm going to be choosing different people in the chat, uh, from, from the chat. I'm going to, um, sorry, hold on. I'm going to choose different people from the group. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a word to that person in the chat. So I'm going to send them only to that person that I choose. So le voy a escoger a una persona y a esa persona le voy a mandar el chat, okay? And what is going to happen is that um, you, that person is going to mimic, mimic the, the activity. And everybody is going to guess what the activity is. Okay, but you have to use it, you have to say it in the ING form. Okay? Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, let's see. Um, almost, uh, all right, I'm going to choose a person randomly. Lo voy a hacer así aleatoriamente. Randomly, bye. And the word. Okay. Ya le tendría que llegar a la persona. Ya, ¿verdad? Okay. Yes. Okay, but you have to do the action. Okay, Alejandra, okay. only the action. <laughs> no, don't, no, don't say anything. You just have to do the action. Okay, let's start. Um... Right, writing. 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 Yeah, writing. Good. Good, excellent. Okay, remember, you have to use the ING form, right? Or the Jared. Um, so it's not going to be just write, it's going to be writing. Okay, good. All right, aleatoriamente, quiero ver. Va, ya cogí a alguien. Oh, okay. And the word is... Okay, ya le habrá caído. Okay. Okay. Um. Reading. Uh, reading. 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 Yeah, good. <laughs> okay. Excellent. All right. Aleatoriamente. Okay. The word is.
¿Ya le cayó? ¿Está bien, no? ¿No la ha visto? Ivón. No lo veo. No lo mira. Mm -hmm. en, el, en, el, en el chat. Se lo voy a ver. No. Está difícil, dicho. No, más con el paisaje que tiene. <risa> Ay, no. Y mire el paisaje, ¿verdad? Se le va a justo. Ah, running. 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 <laughs> running. Excellent. All right. Excellent. Very, very good. Very good. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Um, all right. Aleatoriamente, vamos a ver qué me cae. Va. Just go here. Ajá. Ok. Um, Okay. Eh. Bah. No creo en ese aleatorio. Ya. Cooking. 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 Wow, very good, Marvin. Wow, excellent. Okay, good. Okay, vamos a ver. Se me vuelve a caer la misma persona. Es que es aleatoriamente. Okay, hoy sí. Ay, pero creo que vamos a tener problemas. Ah, no, no, sí, sí, sí se va a poder. <risa> ok, dicho. Hey. ¿A mí? Ya, yeah, yes. you. Yeah. <risa> no sabía de repente. Ok. <risa> Dancing. Uh, dancing. Dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Sabor. <laughs> okay, good. All right. Um, okay, you know, my bad. I know. Normal. Okay. 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 Se debería estar facilísimo. Uh, watching. Watching. Pictures. Capturing. Capture. Ah. Oh, okay. Capturing, capturing. Picture. Capturing. Cold, cold. Taking the picture. 
Calling. Watching. Seeing. Watching what? Watching TV. Watching TV. All right. Watching. There you go. Excellent. Okay. Good. Watching TV. All right. <laughs> Watching TV. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Um, sixteen. <laughs> no, writing, writing, writing. Espérenme, Manuel. Ya revisó el, el chat. What? <laughs> <laughs> Talking? Speaking. 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 Studying. 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 Uh, All right. Very good. Okay. <laughs> okay. And the last one. Vamos a ver. Okay. Okay, no tiene mucho espacio. Ah, playing, playing, playing. playing. Okay, playing. playing what? Playing soccer. Playing soccer. Playing soccer. Playing soccer. Okay, excellent. All right, guys, that's. So that is all. All right. 
se salvaron ahí los que los que no les tocó. I, I good luck. <laughs> good luck for next time. Okay. All right, guys. Very, very good. Um, all right. So now you have you you know how to make the um, the gerund form of the of the verbs, like to change the verbs into the gerund. Right now, what I'm going to teach you is how to use the gerunds. In what situations do we use gerunds, okay? So let's go back to our presentation. And um, for the presentation, okay, so here we have using gerunds. We can use gerunds in three different ways in English, okay? Gerunds can be subjects, they can be used after the verbs, and they can be used after prepositions. So this is the difference between gerunds and gerundios. Gerundios are only verbs, okay? Whereas in the case of gerunds, gerunds can be subjects. Pueden hacer los, eh, el sujeto de una oración, okay? Entonces, El gerundio en inglés se puede usar como un sujeto, ¿ok? En otros casos se utiliza después de un verbo. Entonces, no es que, no es que sea un verbo, es porque no podemos tener ver, verbo y verbo, ¿verdad? Sino que sería verbo y sustantivo, ¿verdad? ¿okay? Entonces, gerunds are nouns. They are not verbs, ¿ok? And they can also be used as their prepositions. Example. As gerunds, we use them as like the noun or the main the main thing of the noun. Okay, so let me show you. For example, here we have um, let's see. So we have you. Uh, so we have increasing our sales is mandatory. Increasing. It's at the beginning of the sentence. So the I the the main idea is increasing, or that's the 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 noun. Producing high quality food, uh, sorry, high quality goods is our target. Producing, it's at the beginning, so we can use it as subjects. Others examples are these one. Using a computer saves a lot of time. So we have using a computer, or Studying online is very convenient. Okay, so we have studying at the beginning. Okay, question. Um, how do you, how would you say this? Um, how would you say studying online is very convenient? In Spanish, how would you say that? Yes, but technically speaking, this is a estudiar is a verb, is a verb, and we're yeah. saying that this is a subject, el sujeto. Entonces, no sería estudiar, sería estudiar. No. 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 Estudio. Estudiando es un verbo. ¿Ah? Estudio, el estudio en línea es... Estudio en línea. Exactly. El estudio en línea es muy conveniente. That's what it would be, el estudio. We're talking about a subject, which is a noun. Does that make sense? ¿Sí? ¿Tiene sentido, chicos, o, no, no, o, o los, los perdí? No. No. Okay. La, la primera entonces sería el uso de una computadora. Ajá, uh -huh. el uso de una, de una computadora. Um, ¿Cómo se llama? Ahorra mucho tiempo. tiempo. Ahorra mucho tiempo. Exactly. Very, very good. El uso. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Good. All right, so that's one way. Another way that we can use a uh, gerund is after certain verbs, okay? Um, 
I notice we have verbs like this one. Uh, I think that I prefer. So the verb prefer after verbs like prefer or I dislike firing employees due to low income. With these ones, we use the gerund after. Okay, so the verb is prefer and the verb here is dislike. And after the verb, the verb prefer or dislike, we use getting, the gerund, or firing, which is also a gerund. Okay? Another example or another way that we can use it is over here. We have here avoid. Verbs like avoid, I avoid going to the dentist, or I miss take, um, taking walks in the morning. These verbs, we use the gerund after. Okay, so we have, I avoid going to the dentist. I miss taking walks in the morning. Para que vayan entendiendo esto un poquito, no son con todos los verbos que se puede usar el gerund después, sino que son ciertos verbos, hay un, una lista de verbos. Ahora, les puedo compartir la, la lista en, en el grupo de WhatsApp, pero quiero que sepan algo. La lista es bien larga. ¿Ok? Y no me interesa que ustedes se lo aprendan todos ahorita. Eso no es el punto. Porque, o sea, sería muy tedioso realmente estarse aprendiendo una lista tan larga, porque es una lista larga. Entonces, les puedo un poco parte de la lista, pero no es tan tan importante aprenderse la memoria cada uno. Pero pueden ir viendo los, los verbos que son más comunes o más, eh, o más fáciles para que ustedes se acuerden. ¿Okay? Entonces, hay ciertos verbos, hay una lista de ciertos verbos que después de ese verbo continúa un gerund. ¿Ok? ¿Está claro para everybody? Questions? No, teacher. Después. Después. Des después la pregunta, ¿ok? Sorry, teacher. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, you were not talking to me. Okay, I got it. Okay. All right. The other thing is the other um, the other way that we use a gerund is after a preposition. If you notice, here we have prepositions. For example. I'm interested in buying raw material. The preposition is in. In. Okay. Um, I'm concerned about asking for money. The preposition is oh. about. So after these prepositions, we're going to be using a gerund. We can use buying and asking. Okay. And over here, I have more examples, okay? Uh, we have, they are planning on arriving at the midday. So on is another preposition. He's not very good at speaking in public. So that's another. So all of these, in, about, on, at, these are all prepositions. And after the preposition, we use a gerund, like arriving, and speaking. Okay. Any questions about that? Any questions, guys? No. Oh, teacher. It's clear. ¿Está claro como el agua o como la horchata? Yeah. Like uh, clean water. Oh, wonderful. Okay, I like that. Crystal water. That's what we say. Crystal. Crystal <laughs> water. A crystal. Okay. Perfect. All right. So now that we understand that, let's practice. Okay. So um, let me stop sharing. Okay. So. 
I'm going to get you guys to work in pairs with a different partner. Okay. And, um, and you're going to complete what? Oh, sorry. Perdón. Oh my goodness. Um, so what I'm, I'm going to, sh I'm going to ask you guys to work on this. Um, okay. So in the exercise on page 42, we have exercises here. We have um, some sentences that we need to put one of these. We have to decide which verb we're going to be using and we're going to be putting it in the uh, gerund form. Okay, that's the activity we're going to do with our partner. Okay, that's page 42. All right, so um, let me make the breakout rooms, recreate them. Um, and we're going to open them up. Let's open it up starting now. Okay, so you can guys can go into your rooms. Are to Christmas ah. with up Star thing. Sería ahí. Pon ahí rollita que va muy a sol. Giving. 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 Yeah. Giving. Um. Questions, guys? Teacher, in this case, is giving number one. Uh, do we do we start giving to Christmas weeks off? Did you start in? No, it was not giving. Yeah, no. no. The answer is no, not giving, no. No giving. Mm. Uh, right. Having. Uh, close. Ah. Uh. Mm. Oh, paying. Mm. A nosotros nos pagan dos semanas en diciembre Gratis No Sí, eso tiene que ser Yo creo que no me, no me he entendido Yes, you're right It's paying oh, Ok yeah, you're right. Sí, Era paying Paying I prefer then to work one more week plus about. Prefer? I prefer. Uy, aquí tengo duda. Sí. Ya terminamos. You're finished? Yes. Oh, yes. wow. Wow, that's great. Okay. 
good, good. All right, I'll see you guys in the in the room in the breakout room in a moment. Okay. Right, the main session in a moment. Okay. Then. To reduce the pain, giving, asking, giving. Tengo giving, creo. You guys finished? No. Not teacher. We are, we are having trouble here. Uh, this problem, teacher, con. No, bueno. I have a problem the the. Of work. The, um, what is the, the problem? The work. I'm not. I'm not really sure which um, which uh, Jaron goes here with um, with this question because I was I was checking on the platform as well, uh, trying to figure out what um, verb used or what Jaron to use, but none of them give him, give me uh, the correct results. Sorry, I didn't understand. Oh. I was I was saying that I was I was checking on the platform on the uh, homework for today. Oh, okay, huh? And I wasn't able to to get the the right answer, and I was trying all of them, and I don't know why. That's why I wasn't sure which which one was where. Okay, let me just see the 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 exercise in the platform. Like for example, on the first one, do we start? I I I um I already tried. Do we start getting? Do we start paying? Do we start um? Well, I I I use uh, do we start getting? Do we start giving? Do we start um, paying? I use all of them, and uh, and none of them were correct. Okay, um, all right, so it says, do we start? Okay, this, okay, I'll, I'll give you the context so and maybe it will be easier for you if you understand the context. Um, basically here, we have two bosses talking about uh, what to do with the employees. Sorry, right. the employees. yeah, the employees, okay? Right. And um, so they're basically, they are the ones, they are the ones that are going to decide what to do. So they're not going to be getting, they're going to be giving. Exactly. They're going to be giving it. Right. Right, but I already tried that, and, and on the on the um, platform no, it says it's write it correctly. Right, write it correctly. I I think I did. Nope. Did not. Oh. Uh huh. But how do you uh, remember what what happens when the verb finishes an e? When the verb finishes finishes an e. Which one was it? Oh, give. Right, that's what I did. Yeah, that would be the answer. But that's Easy. that's how I that's how I have it here, and and it says this thing correct.
That's, uh, that's why I was. I, no, I, that's, I was that's the answer. That's the answer in the platform. I'm, I'm looking at it? the. I'm looking at it. That's that's the answer. Okay. Because I have it written down here, and and maybe I um. Pick this up. Oh, I have it. And do we start? Giving. See, I'll, I'll, I'll share. I'll share what I have so you can see it. So I'm just gonna share right now. I'm gonna stop. Sh I'm gonna stop sharing what you guys have, and I'll share what I have. See, okay. this is what I have. <clears throat> do you? Do we start? And the answer is giving. Right. I. So we we don't write the whole sentence. We only have no, to write this giving. This is just the answer. Mm -hmm. so we, oh, um, oh, yeah, that because in, in okay, that's where I got confused. Because in, in other uh homeworks, uh, you have to write the whole sentence, yeah. Right? I understand, I understand. No, in this one, they just uh, want you to give the, the verb in, in the um, in the gerund form. That's it, okay, okay, okay. thank okay. you. All right, all right, thank all right, you. okay, I'll see you guys in the main room. Okay, uh, are you interested in Okay, guys, so we're going to um, share the answers. Let me just um, show you here. Quickly, we're going to go over the answers. So let me write it down over here. Um, the first one is, do we start? Giving. 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 Teacher. Yes. I asking you if you giving is correct and you Tell me no. not. Right. Yes, I, I, you're right. It's just that I was, I had not taken into consideration that um, the, the people that were talking were the, the bosses. That's why. I'm sorry, that was my fault. But yes, um, it's because it's the bosses or the employers that are talking, the answer would have to be giving. They're the ones. O sea, ellos no reciben, sino que ellos son los que lo dan. So yes, I'm sorry about that. Okay, teacher. All right, let's go on to the next one. Number, number the next one. I prefer... Paying. 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 Good, next one. Are you interested in? Having. Having, having. Good. Having new ideas for products. Yes, I am. Do we have? Do sorry. Do you have? I ha I love. Getting. 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 Good. Next one. Number three. Providing. 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 Good. Providing salaries to employees each month is our priority. I totally agree with that. Besides, hearing. 
Ready. Okay. <laughs> it's not hearing. It's actually pronounced hiring. 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 Good. Okay. And number four, hiring. are you worried about? Asking. 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 Good. I'm asking the bank for the new loan. Not really. I'm more concerned about selling. 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 Good. About selling the new products to pay the employees. All right. There you go. Those are the answers. All right. Any questions? No. Okay, guys, that will be all then. Um, so uh, I'm going to stop sharing there. Okay, guys, I'm not gonna give you any homework except that I want you guys to finish the in, in the um, in the platform. You guys need to finish up to uh, um, homework number 18. And eh, chicos, solo prácticamente nos queda un tema más, así es uno o dos temas más, entonces necesito que hagan el final exam, tienen que trabajar el, también en su final exam, acuérdense que también tienen que haber terminado, no solamente hasta la ter, las tareas, el número 20, sino que, o oh, 19, perdón, sino que también haber terminado el midterm y el, y el final exam. Entonces, uh, esa va a ser la tarea. Necesito que todos trabajen en la plataforma para tenerlo ya listo. Any questions? No, teacher. No, teacher. No, no questions. No, teacher. No questions at all? No. No. Questions. Okay, all right, guys, that will be all. Um, thank you for um, staying till the end, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Y me quedo con Magali. Okay, teacher, good night, everyone. Hey, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Teacher, no voy a poder quedar. This is the... Hola. Okay. Okay. No problem. Mm -hmm. No problem. Um, uh, uh, Mary, um, uh, okay. Sí, está bien. No hay problema. Uh, tiene el, um, tiene alguna duda, algo que, 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 que tal vez um, si quiere, si, si tiene alguna duda mm -hmm. y no puede caerse el día de hoy, solamente mándeme la, 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 um, por, por WhatsApp y yo se el... um. Es verdad, y yo se lo, se lo puedo contestar, ¿verdad? Ok. Gracias, teacher. All right, you're welcome. Bye. Magali, take care. Take care. Lucy, do you have any questions?